Welcome to Chapter 13, Camera Raw. In this chapter, we're going to learn why Camera Raw is the first step in your workflow for Photoshop Elements. So let's go ahead and choose Window, Properties, or Shortcut Alt-Enter. This will open up the Properties panel. Once I select this photo, you'll see some information. If you don't have the I for information, just go ahead and click on it. You'll notice here it says Camera X If Information. You'll notice here it tells you that it, I took this photo with the Nikon D5000. Why is that important? Well, when I right click on the photo and choose Edit with Photoshop Elements Editor, it's going to open up an interme intermediary application called Camera Raw. And the reason Camera Raw comes up is because I have a file extension of NEF for Nikon, CRW for Canon, or DNG for Adobe Standard for um, Raw. Okay? And I'm using Camera Raw 6.7, and it's reading my camera, Nikon D5000 from the exit information that you just saw earlier. Now in this lesson we're going to talk about the general things here and then we're going to go into using these sliders in the next tutorial. So as you can see here the name of this file is Camera Raw Edits with the NEF extension for Nikon. We also have a choice between 16-bit or 8-bit. I usually leave it at 16-bit because 16-bit allows me a lot more flexibility with um, editing. Okay. And in the top here, I have the Zoom tool, which is a Z for shortcut. This allows you to zoom in. You can also choose presets here, so I can choose 50% if I want, or I can use these manual ways. Remember, if I do have the Zoom tool and I press the Alt key, it will zoom out. Okay. This is the hand tool, shortcut H, but remember, if I zoom in and I press the space bar, it will change to the hand tool, so that's another shortcut. This here is called the white balance tool. You might think of it as an eyedropper. It's not an eyedropper, it's a white balance tool. What this does is when you, um, this sets the area you clip to a neutral gray tone to remove color cast and adjust the color of the entire image, from which then you can further customize if you want using the temperature and tint. Hopefully by the way the photo is taken, this would automatically be corrected, but sometimes it's not. And the, what the RAW does allows you the flexibility to change that. So let me see if I can explain something to you really in a layman's terms. Once you shoot an image with JPEG and you click the, click the shutter like that, it saves those settings. And the JPEG says, okay, now I know your exposure, I know your, all this information, and it's saved with that, with, that, with that file. You can't change it. So now if I open up Photoshop Elements or Photoshop or any other application, I can only ch change or work with that photo from that point forward. Camera Raw says, look, I know you took it with this f-stop, aperture, shutter speed, and etc. But I'm not going to say it's permanent. I'm going to allow you the flexibility to change it if you want. And I'll allow you to even change the white balance if you want. That's what makes Camera Raw so powerful and so great. It allows you that flexibility for, let's say, the mistakes that you might make. Okay. So now we know what this white balance tool does, shortcut I. I know that this wall was gray in the museum. So I'm going to click on it with the white balance tool and this will automatically correct the photo for me. Okay, just like that in one step. Okay, I can further customize it by using the temperature and tint, which we'll talk about in the next lesson. Right here is the crop tool. So let me fit and view first. So how do you fit and view? Double click the hand tool. Now, if I just wanted to crop, this is shortcut C, like any other crop tool, you just make a crop and then you press enter and this will crop it for you but guess what in camera raw the crop is not final that's what makes it great also click the crop tool and click clear crop and bam your crop is gone this is the straighten tool shortcut A we know how to use that you just drag from one side to the other and it will straighten for you by pressing enter this is the red eye removal be honest with you I don't use it I use Photoshop elements for it um, that's just me. These are settings, Camera Raw preference settings. You have the choice to save the image settings in a sidecar XMP file or a Camera Raw database. If, for example, you were to save all your files in DNG, which is the Adobe standard, this would be saved within that file, so you wouldn't need this separate XMP file. Okay. This rotates the pictures accordingly, and you have your shortcut there. And this is an interesting button that can be very confusing to a lot of people. This is the preview button. And what this does allows you to see the before and after of the photo. 
shortcut P. So if I press P, watch what happens. This is the original. This is the after. This is the original. This is the after. Now watch what happens. As indicated here, this is the Basics tab. If I click on the Detail tab, as indicated here, and I press the Preview button, look what happens. Nothing changes. Why? Because a preview only works on the tab that's open. Okay, so if I click back, you see? Press P, and we see it again. Okay, so don't let that trip you up because you can be in the Detail tab making all these and using uh, the, the, the preview, but it's only going to show you what's happening here, not overall. Okay, this will toggle the full screen, but we're not going to do that. And this is the histogram that we're all used to seeing. These are um, the s-stops, the lenses I use in the ISO setting that I used. Let me go back to Basics tab. These are RGB um, information. So if I click over here where we neutralized it with the white balance tool, you can see I can use the zoom, the hand, or the, this tool here, and I'll show you the RGB. But you can see it went 220, 220, 220. That's where it was neutralized. Okay. These are two little inf uh, cute little information things. These are clipping warnings. This is to show you, hey, 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 you're clipping, you're clipping colors, which means it's 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 not good for you. Okay, so here on this side is a shortcut U, and on the short on this side is O. So if I press O, watch what happens. You see the white border around it? That indicates that you're going to see the clipping. How do I know? Watch what happens when I adjust the exposure. You see the red, all this area is clipped to pure white. So this is a warning showing you. If I press O again, you won't see that warning. Press O, okay. So let me adjust the exposure back about here. Okay, in the next lesson, we're going to talk about the basics tab.